Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your 2021 entrepreneurial fit reading. Um, we're going to be having a look to see what's coming up around entrepreneur activities for you Aries. Uh, so if you're looking to work from home, if you're looking to start something independent or have something independent, uh, this reading could be for you. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, all the information that you need is listed below. Otherwise, let's have a look and see. Uh, Aries, what comes up? What's the overall energy for you for 2021? Okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Fantastic card. Um, business, um, money, success is about to change for you in a very powerful way. So um, big things are happening in motion. You've got, the, you've got something about divine timing coming up. So for a lot of you, 2021 is going to really determine uh, the success of your business or really going to determine the direction that you're going to take um, your entrepreneurship activities in so um, that's always a good sign so it's an auspicious year to get things going this is all of this is a card of having things in motion here um, it's also a card of destiny fate and good things coming to us so good fortune can mean good rewards good returns um, <clears throat> loyal customers um, things are really going to fall in your favor um, this year in 2021 okay so that's fantastic to see it could also speak of destiny and fate so this is um, very much can be in relation to fame or um, launching a new website going global um, really uh, propelling you to new heights so overall energy is really really positive um, let's see what else is coming up around you Aries Okay, you've got the strength card, so you might have the time of Leo. Uh, Leo season could be significant around July, August um, for you in terms of business and career. You've got the Hierophant, okay, the Moon reverse, the Emperor, and the Five of Chalices. A lot of major arcana cards coming up around you, Aries, so really big things, big decisions taking place here. Um, now, for some of you, uh, the time of Leo season, Taurus season, Cancer season, or Aries season is going to be significant, and it could very well be life-altering. Um, I see there's something to do with the wish fulfillment, something coming true here for you, um, something that you've wished for. Um, something that you, you've wished for, Aries, is going to be yours. Um, some of you are going to be starting, uh, it's either going to be collaborating with someone, or you may start a business with someone that you're married to. Okay, you've got the marriage card. You can see this castle here. So some of you are going to be working or um, visiting very prestigious venues. Okay, you might be connecting with people at nice venues. Um, you might be speaking at certain function halls. Um, you may be renting these spaces or even purchasing these spaces. Um, so that's fantastic to see. Look, you're going to encounter some losses here, Aries. It's not going to be all smooth sailing. Um you can see there's the devil and then the, the sphinx. So, you know, all in, um, you know, we have to accept the good and the bad. But five of chalices is loss. Um, it is sitting below the marriage card. Some of you, um, your relationships could suffer because business might be going extremely well. And that might remove you from marriages, relationships, etc. So there could be a loss in connection um, because you're going to be so focused on your entrepreneurial activities um, is what I'm seeing. You've, you've come up as the emperor here, so that's very powerful. Some of you are going to get a promotion or you're going to be like um, a co-founder, a CEO, um, president. Um, you know, there's some sort of title, um, big title that, that's going to be attached to you um, and you're going to be at the, at the leadership of it all. Um, but the emperor rules over a lot of people and lands and places. So um, Aries, I, I'm sensing that your responsibility is about to increase in a really, really big way here. Um, you also got the Hierophant, so I'm wondering if you're collaborating with someone who might be under the sign of an Aries, Taurus, Leo, could be a Cancer, uh, possibly a Pisces here as well, um, and you may be connecting with one of these signs and collaborating, <clears throat> but two very important people are coming up around you, or you are collaborating with the Hierophant here, very powerful, influential people coming up around you, very much a year of networking um, and building relationships and strengthening ties here. Um, you could even have someone work for you or someone that's going to be leading the team. The strength card is a leader. Um, so you're going to be strengthening a lot. 
Uh, you also have, you've got something in your hands here with the High Priestess. She's got the Torah in her hands. So you've got some sort of document, deed, business registration, um, some sort of paperwork. Uh, could be like a business visa. Uh, some sort of paperwork that you're going to hold in your hands that you've been waiting to get. It's destined for you because the High Priestess is here. Um, things are going to be revealed to you. So there's something about a reveal uh, coming up. Uh, a new business launch, a reveal of a new space, uh, your ad on a billboard, your ad on uh, in a newspaper, for example. Um, something about a big reveal, I think, is coming up here um, with that uh, high priestess. But again, the black and white pillars, there's some sort of um, collaboration coming up around you. Okay, Some of you are meant to go into joint partnership. The Hierophant is a lot of money coming in as well, so money coming or money going, uh, quite a bit of wealth around you. doesn't surprise me if your overall energy um, is the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, quite yeah, quite a bit of money coming up, which is very, very exciting. The Hierophant can rule over possessions, but it can be love, okay, Venus energy, and you've got the Four of Wands, so... Some of you are either meeting someone who's an entrepreneur and they're going to sort of evoke that spirit within you somehow or you're collaborating with someone you're romantically involved with. I think that's possible. Um, could even be someone you end up marrying or you are married to. Um... But don't forget those losses. The losses are destined or the losses need to happen. You've got the moon. The moon is reversed. Um, so this might be a message here that you need to work more on your creativity or something to do with security. Um, so contracts, confidentiality clauses, insurance protection. Um, that could be something that's quite necessary for you. Um, it's coming up reversed. Um, normally upright, the, sh the, the boat represents being protective over something. The moon is creativity. So this reverse could indicate you A, need to work on your creativity or B, you need to ensure you're protected in every um, in every way possible this year Aries is there's a lot of money or resources or things coming up around you. It would be important um, to make sure you're protected in that way. but really fantastic reading Aries. I hope that has been insightful. I'm certainly excited for you. Uh, if you would like a private reading, you know where to find me. All the details that you need are listed below in the show more section. Um, feel free to check out your other yearly readings up on my channel. Otherwise, really appreciate you joining me, Aries. I hope everyone is staying safe and looking after themselves. And I do hope to be in touch very, very soon. So take care, everyone, and bye for now.